but uh yeah eh, you only do so much but uh i'm excited to uh see some gamble here congratulations on getting this in the uh, in the indie direct uh that was ah, thank you so much see. so how, how did that work was that like Nintendo hit you up and it was like, "Hey, can we put this in there?" Or, or, or was there like an application process for it? How, how does how does that work? How does how does somebody get a game in that um, in that video? There is well, I, I I there's 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 some stuff I can't say, but like long story short, I mean, like we do we do work with our publisher like Team Seventeen to uh, get a lot of those kinds of opportunities. Um, like with, with with a lot of the the sort of mainstream things like a uh, Nintendo Direct or like a State of Play, like the the unfortunate truth of it is, it's really just like like who you know. <laughs> like if our uh, if our publisher reaches out to to them and they've like had games in it before, it's going to be a lot more straightforward. Mhm. Mm nice. That's cool. Oh, yeah, that makes total sense. What has it been like working with uh, Team Seventeen? I'm curious if if you, if, if you can say as much because like they've been around for a long time, to my knowledge, and <laughs> I'm not sure exactly when they started going to like doing a lot of indie games. Cause I, I remember them specifically from like from Worms 3D. I remember playing that game a lot as as a kid, and that was I always remember seeing their name there. Right. They basically only made Worms for like like a decade and a half or something like that like that's not really true but that was like their their uh kind of show like pony their flagship series yeah exactly um yeah. and so um at one point they they pivoted to uh indie publishing um basically like it's 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 been a very cool experience it's our first time working with a publisher um so I don't have a lot to compare the experience to. Um, it's definitely, first of all, it's very good to have a project like funded beforehand instead of just uh, kind of jumping ship and sort of risking all of our money. Oh yeah, totally. Oh, but it's cool. also, uh, it's good to have, you know, connections with people who have worked in, you know, game marketing for years or have, have done production on a million other projects like similar to ours. For sure, for sure. Very nice. Have that kind of support. Cool. Sorry, Sam, I'm hijacking your stream. I, I know, it's just kind of like, well, I, I guess I don't need to be here. I guess I'll just, I'll just go. I turn on I turn on face cam so I could get the full the full blind reaction. The full thing. Just just for this. Um is there anything I should know before I press play? Um I do know that it's a dungeon crawler and I will say right now that I am not good at those types of games. But I'm still excited to play it. But just for some it, context. It is a challenging game. Uh, if you have a controller... I have I a controller. Think, I think that makes it easier, but it works with mouse as well. Okay. Welcome to the beautiful city of oh, Cascadia. there's audio. Did you have a nice monorail ride? We at Cubicle would like to congratulate you on oh, joining the ranks I'll get the of over 100,000 employees hired through the Impoverished Intern Initiative. As the largest e-commerce corporation in the nation state, we're proud to support the next generation of innovators. It might be hard to believe, but Cubicle started out as nothing more than a great idea from someone just like you. Like so many Neo Cascadian success stories, Cubicle began as a startup. Just a couple guys in a garage with nothing but a dream and a modest cash injection. That's why we're paying it forward. Since the inception of our company, we've acquired countless startups and provided them with funding and hard workers <laughs> to help accelerate their success. Our friendly integrated AI has assigned you as a marketing assistant at our latest member of the family, Fizzle Beverages. Oh. By inventing a sparkling water that's also a meal replacement, Fizzle cleverly disrupted two <laughs> industries at once. There's no wow. better place for an intern to grow than somewhere like Fizzle, where you'll never be the smartest person in the room. When you're not hard at work with Fizzle, you'll have plenty of time to experience some of the rich Pacific Northwestern culture our great city has to offer. Oh. Now, 
Let's go over some ground rules for your internship. First of all, these animations are so cute. Explore beneath the oh, oh. And and that's just about everything you need to know. Any questions, Jackie? Yeah, why are we in the basement? <laughs> Yeah, we've got a little bit of a problem at Fizzle right now, which is a great invention, by the way. Goblins keep coming up to the basement dungeon and stealing all our office supplies. So, for your first task as intern, I just need you to get in there and kill them all. What? Like, kill? Kill? Like, right now? I've never killed a person before. And you still won't have. If it makes it easier, just pretend you're in a video game and picture its hit points slowly decreasing every time you land a blow. Consider it that your first task is Fizzle Beverage's newest intern. Make us proud. All right, time to go kill some monsters, I guess. That's the spirit. Good luck, Jackie. Great. Why eat when you can just drink soda? Ah, I got a big potted suck. A big suck. Mm-hmm. Oh. I got a pencil. Can I attack with the... Wait. Oh, I can throw it. Oh, oh, okay. I left it behind. Uh-oh. Pick up items and attack. Okay, Y to grab, X to attack. Okay, okay, we're in it. Go get him. I got him. I killed him with my pencil. Okay. I do really like the, the art style in this game a lot. Too. Yeah, it, uh, we sort of worked towards finding a middle ground between uh, kind of emulating this uh, sort of flat corporate like ad style that you see everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Like here, you know, in the in like the intro uh, cutscene, and then in like the tutorial and a lot of the art, we're just using that kind of straight up. So we sort of took that like a step into 3D. Oh yeah, like with the kind, kind of like the Aperture Science little stick figures, where everything's just kind of right. Yeah. And you'll see it a lot. Like I like nowadays, like Spotify is running these ads. I see them at fucking Fred uh -huh. Meyer. Oh yeah, for sure. It's just the kind of advertising wave. <gasps> oh, I want to get that spear. Okay. It's, eh. Oh, okay. Hold on. Uh, I'll get the spear. I'll get the spear. Oh, wait. No, this button. Wait. Hey, I got the spear. Nice. Um, so, um, something that also makes me not the best at video games is that I tend to forget what button is where most of the time. <laughs> okay, it will dodge roll. Yes, but it'll... As long as it doesn't get too, I you know what? But it's making sense for me for right now, so that's already a, that's already a win. Ooh, you can just kind of find some find some things. Get a broom. I'm keeping the spear, <gasps> but crossbow. But crossbow though. Oh, swap between... Oh! Oh, I have multiple items! <laughs> Look at you okay. go. <laughs> okay, yeah, I can have both. Well... Are these, ah, uh, are these goblins based off of anybody in particular? Ah! Uh. <laughs> uh, well, basically just each, uh, each dungeon, uh, is just based off a different startup in-universe. A different startup. So, so we're in Fizzle right now, right? So right now you're in Joblin. So Fizzle is the ah. company you work for, which is uh, in the in the main game. That'll be the overworld. Um, and so this. Oh my God. Uh, Joblin's based off sort of gig economy type, uh, like Uber apps and stuff like that. So all the goblins are basically uh, these cursed gig workers. Oh. So some of them you can see have like lunch boxes on their back. Uh, if you survive long enough, you may see some of them driving cars. Ooh. <laughs> nice. 
So do I have a healing item in my possession? That's uh no. So that the the app you have is gonna make things cheaper if you go to the shop. Oh. RT. Oh. Ah, there we go. Okay, that didn't that didn't do much. Okay. Uh 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 uh. Whoa 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 whoa! The, the spear's going crazy. Oh, yeah, that was a smart spear. Oh. So if you throw it at people, it'll continue to target them until it breaks. Oh well. Sweet. Calculated. Well, for when you need a distraction, uh huh? Go this way. Oh. A new job available. Okay. Oh. Okay. Hold X to charge attack. Hmm. I have a power up. Watch yourself. Nice. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, I'm surrounded. Okay, okay. It's fine. Take that. And contains true joy. Oh, what has anything. what has six sides and contains true joy? Oh, <gasps> a spear, a jobs, a jobo spear. Nice. Oh, that's a charge attack. Okay. I'll be right back, guys. Okay. Anything you want? Anything, really? What's what's this? What's... If you activate this slide, you will be locked into the the combat. So if you want to explore the rest of the floor and go to the shop and stuff, you should do that first. Oh, okay. Rad. Huh? Ah! <laughs> you destroyed the meat. Oh. Oh. That's fine. Probably. That probably would have healed me. Probably would have. Yeah, well. That's okay. I just need to. Go. Oh! Learn skills to increase your purr. Here we go. I'm baby. <laughs> <gasps> I'm baby! <laughs> I like how you didn't even need to look at the other one. Oh, yeah! I thought I could get. Okay, well, I'm baby. <laughs> Now your baby. Yeah. And I like how it pops up as like a notification on your phone. Right. Okay, this is the part where I get lost. It's fine because you get to uh, just walk underneath desks. Oh. I'm baby. <laughs> oh, several cars. Whoa, 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 Ah! Ah, okay, okay. I thought, I thought that was gonna kill me for sure. That was close. So, that's a killing. Remember, Cubicle loves you. Remember, Cubicle loves me. Don't hit the baby. <laughs> Don't touch the baby. Not run over the child. Don't touch the child. Go big or go under. God. Does that make me unbaby? Okay, no. No. Okay, we're good. It makes your weapons bigger, so now you've got a very a very strange build going on. Ooh. Whoa. Consume a job, witch. Oh no. Consume. There we go. Ooh, yoga ball. I should utilize the things around me more. 
Okay. Let's see. Ah! I'm baby. Ah! <laughs> oh, no. Oh! Oh, jeez, I can just attack with it. Ah! <laughs> ran out of ammo for it, so now it's just a melee. Ah, uh, I see. Pushing deadlines. And now I'm back here. Oh yeah, the uh, the demo here is just the first dungeon, which ah, is Joblin. Gotcha. Well, I have time to figure out how to control. There. <laughs> Pick up, and uh, hey, yeah. Oh no, I missed. <laughs> uh, hi, Maple. I'm 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 running away from this goblin friend. You attack me with a thumbtack? Rude. Oh, this game's gonna be really cool on the Switch, too. This is so pretty. Blue and purple. Ah! Oh! Double kill! Oh, that was- that was nice. Self-care. Take a loving moment. Give yourself so much needed care. Yes. Fell cute, might delete later. Oh, can I only have one of those power ups up at a time? It's gonna delete the old one. Okay, so I should have used the heart. <laughs> okay, I'm <Yes>. learning. <laughs> Jobs done. Joblin. Okay, I have my dinky little paddle, so that's a better weapon. This is a better weapon. Okay, here we go. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, no. Oh, no. Step, 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 step. Ow. <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay. Ow. Welcome back. Oh, I'm doing my best. Oh, jeez. Whoops. Ah, uh, I tried to dodge back out, but yeah. yeah. If you're attacking someone with a with a weak weapon, uh, spamming them for too long with it will make them stop getting stunned by it. Mm-hmm. Okay. I see that these ra that these rooms are different every time. How about that? How about that? <laughs> so stop me if you guys have already talked about this but um kind of what, what was like coming up with like the iteration different iterations of the art style like in, to, to where it got to, towards like the finished product really so the a lot of things that are in the game especially in these early areas are like our first pass on them uh the kind of uh the shaders and the lighting and the different colors we use in the game were definitely iterated on as the project went on but when it comes to like like jackie's model um a lot of the a lot of the joblins and the items that you see in these initial areas like we pretty much had a good idea of what we wanted to go for by the time we we put them into the game for the first time um So the, the, the iteration kind of happened in like the earlier stages when we're thinking about hey like what uh what what different companies are we going to kind of satirize in these different dungeons um what's the general kind of visual style that we want to go for Ooh. and since we were already aiming for like mimicking this kind of like uh uh this kind of corporate visual style that like already exists um a lot of it came kind of naturally, which I say like not being the artist of this game, but like once it, once it looked right, like we knew. Yeah. Is kind of what I mean by that. Not that it was easy, but. 
So, was there like a particular? So, it's obviously, there's a lot of satirizing of companies, which I love. I think that's great, especially with how you're talking about like the minimalistic um, kind of styles that they go for uh, these days. Was there a particular company that was just like that stood out more than others in terms of like it being kind of the inspiration for that idea? Uh, I mean, I think the one that we knew we were going to do from the very beginning was the the gig economy. Like, because that just encapsulates so much of... Oh, whoops. How the... Um, sorry, I'm like looking at the screen and zoning out a little bit. That encapsulates so much of like how, how technology has changed the way we do things recently. Um... So the other, some of the other main dungeons that you'll see in the game are based off of uh, dating apps and uh, cryptocurrency oh. exchange. Ooh, nice. I'm excited um, for the dating app one. <laughs> um, and there is like, there is definitely like a, a Hi, like an Amazon bucks. influence all throughout the the game as well, for sure. Like when you see uh, uh, these drones and things coming in, like Cubicle is kind of the the massive company that still exists in this world that like has not gone under that handles uh you know shipping of products uh ai research stuff like that so the espresso machine we left in the game by accident do not buy it it won't do anything okay <laughs> cool that is though. that's for a quest that is not in the demo gotcha i wanted to save up for the yeet anyway the yeet is fun. Hi, Jelly. Hey, no, no, no. Find anything loitering isn't permitted here. Aren't you gonna attack me or something? Yeah, no. Why would I do that? Seems pretty bad for business. Good point. Thanks, Hipster Goblin. Ooh, a plastic knife. Some, uh, some dungeons that we cut from the game that hopefully we can bring back in DLC. Ooh. We definitely wanted a uh, a game streaming platform. Huh. The, the, this would be me in the apocalypse, just like a fire, but making coffee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pick up that drip. Okay. Ooh, look at that weapon. Ooh. Me... You missed one of those earlier. <sighs> of course I did. Okay, whoop. Give me that. I guess I don't need a box. Whoops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got... I... Th th this is when I... St this is... This is when... This is when I start getting confused. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. You don't need the... You don't need the spear. The hammer is like a hundred times better. You got this. Okay. Emmer's busted. <laughs> just, right. like, just like tossing chairs. Yeah, okay, here, here we go. go. Defeat enemies quickly. I'll do yeah, it at, at my own pace. Oh, jeez. Emmer's <laughs> uh, charge attack is also crazy. Ah. Uh, whoa. Hit you like three times with that one move. Delivery for Jacqueline. I think it's the team that we're at that's uh... Oh wait, don't pick that up. Don't 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 do it, do it, don't do it. Use your other app. Use your other app. Okay. <gasps> Hi there friend. Should should I use it again? <laughs> wait, is it busted? Wait, hit it again. Is it because there's no enemies to fight? Oh. I have no idea. Well <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're only supposed to be able to use that once, but that's cool. <laughs> well, I used it twice. Look at my this new, is, look at my new be, friend. I can push, I can push him right. around. I can push him. Oh, okay. Bougie cube. <laughs> the worst kind of cube. Okay, so I just release it to throw it. Okay, pick it up and hit. Oh, oh, get, oh, 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 get, oh, consume sandwich. Okay. Don't punch sandwich. Consume sandwich. Okay. Um. Ooh. A sword. 
Oh, yeah, friend's still with me. What? Ah! <laughs> Owie. Yeah, it's just some of the ghost friends. Get him! Oh. He's close. Uh oh. So, uh... Yeah, blow yourself up! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Calculated. Okay. Oh, oh, he's just chilling. Oh, right, there he goes. How big is the team over at uh, Agro Crab Game? I'm curious. Six people worked on this project. Um, so that's, uh, I did, uh, I was the lead programmer and the sole writer for the game. Uh, we have another uh, uh, gameplay programmer and like a uh, game designer balancer. Um, our main artist, Nick, did uh, like the vast majority of the art in the game. He was the like tech artist for the game, so we did uh, almost all of the shader work and stuff, and uh, all the almost all the character models and portraits. Um, we have uh -oh. an environment artist, Joanna, who did a lot of the uh, um, the like prop design for the levels, and also like a lot of the initial sort of level design in general, like aesthetic design for the for the dungeons. Um, we have our um, uh, graphic designer, Luis, who did all the posters in the game, as well as like the title menu and basically like most of the places we have 2D art in the game besides the character portraits. And then finally we have our composer and sound designer, Felix. And the, uh, the OST for this game is fantastic. I'm in love with it. That's awesome. I was just about to comment on that because I think that's something that's just so important in games and kind of like maybe something that people don't think about like as much when you think about a game but just like how like i just think it's like it's so important like were you involved with like any of kind of like the creation of that or anything or like like um face like any challenges like developing something like that like its feel or whatever uh -oh. as far as whoa uh -oh. as far as the music goes <laughs> <laughs> oh i'm back at the start oops Asking about music specifically? Yeah. Uh, yeah, like, uh, working on the music was definitely a group effort. Well, like, working on it was not... I don't want to steal any vendor from the... Oh, yeah, yeah, composer but, but who... like, conceptualizing it, I guess. Yeah, 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 it was definitely, like, a, um... Like, it took us a while to reach, kind of, uh... To, to know what we wanted out of the music. Because we initially, you know, pitched this project to our composer, and we're like, oh, we want you know, lo-fi for this game, we want big beat, we want just, like, something modern. We and it was just kind of all over the place. Um, and it took, uh, it took quite a few iterations before, like, we had our first really good version of a track in the game, which was the, the Joblin theme that you're hearing now. Mm -hmm. Um, and I fucking love this track. Besides the fact that the start of it sounds exactly like Pen Pineapple Apple Pen, which we didn't know until later on. <laughs> I, it feels like it's so difficult right now because it's like there's so many tracks and so, just so many things out there right now. Oh, so many. Something's gonna memes. sound like something. Uh. But yeah. Uh. Once once we kind of like once we had a few tracks that we were able to say, okay, this is the this is the vibe we want. Uh, Felix really just started crushing, like, track after track. Um, and there's some very strange music in this game. Oh, I'm and very excited for the, for the soundtrack. What is this? Dodge rules deal damage. Ooh. Rad. Oh, I can't go back? Okay. Anymore. Nope. Okay. I warned ya. Oh. I forgot. Because <laughs> I was so going to go heal. So in terms of uh, what you do and what you've done on this project, what what you kind of run in that was one of the more like challenging parts of it? Challenging parts? I mean, this is the first uh, this is the first game that I've ever been like a a full narrative designer on for like a game of What's... this scale, uh, which is definitely my favorite kind of game dev discipline. Um, writing the dialogue for this game was was yes. really challenging, but also very uh, very fun, very motivating. Uh, 
you don't get to see a lot of it in like this demo but there is like a whole overworld there's a there's a story you know i promise <laughs> Uh, so that was that was the main challenge that I sort of had not taken on before. When it comes to working with like a publisher and like an external porting studio, there's always an extra like challenge to the way you write your code as soon as it actually needs to like be used by people outside of the team. Right. So and we are like, like... Oh, go ahead. oh uh, we're like not competent, you know, compared to like. A software developer that like actually knows their shit for example mm -hmm. um like you know game, game dev is often kind of just like a train wreck with no brakes oh you're gonna want to check this out check check what out oh go to the go to the vampire face room uh. oh hello hello new friend oh my goodness did what? i say the entrepreneur <laughs> That's it's certain to hurt. Uh, well, well, I see you've made it to my humble garage. No offense, man. I think everyone's kind of over the whole Ignamix shopkeeper thing. Just show me what you're selling so I can get out of here. Yeah, rest is when you are. Spending your cash is all well and good, but did you know was better than items? Knowledge. <laughs> In fact, I'm far more proud of my vast collection of literature than I could ever be of my wares. Oh, my sweet car. But do you, like, sell stuff here, right? In a sense? But the price may be harsher than currency. Oh. The price may be harsher than currency. Curse of Void now, Warranty for the next three... I that car there. That just, that, that's some premium <laughs> parallel parking skills, if I may say. That is Did true. That. So, <laughs> for the next three combats, all of your items will be cheap knockoffs. So, what's the benefit to that? It's behind the car is basically what the deal is here. Oh. 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 Get. Wait. What? Wait. Why did I? Wait. How do I get over there? Let me get over there. Let me get over there. Uh oh. I guess you can't cheat it. I really, I, I really hope you can't at least. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get over there. So it sounds like if you, you have to accept that to get those items, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, I see. Well, I have some pretty good items right now, so I will, I will do. It that. will increase your health as well, though, and give you some skills. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh. Challenge. <laughs> Forbidden. Oh, jeez, yeah, it really does. Uh, taste better in a bottle. Gain. Move and attack faster, or Jabo Hammer. Can I get all of these, or just? You can take all of these, yeah. Okay. Whenever uh, game like these kind of scenarios come up in games, I kind of always take them because I'm just like, just give me as much power as I can. I don't care if I have a disadvantage. Right. Yeah, I mean, look at my arms. You can't mess with. You can't mess with me. Look how swole you are. Mm hmm. I, uh, I was talking about something. Uh, what? Oh, I was I was talking about something. Yeah, no, we were talking about like coding and and how um it needs to be like kind of because because I was actually gonna uh, go off of that because like I assume like when you have other people that need to port it, it has to be kind of oh. more, like standardized and uniform to what like they would be used to seeing. Right. So, like, and, and and what you were saying before like game dev being like, would you say train wreck with no brakes? Yeah. That, that uh, sounds I, like anytime I've ever tried to code something, it's always been like that. And I've never really tried to code anything. It's, it's absolutely, it gives me a lot of respect for these people that run like porting studios or just uh, publishers that work with indies a lot. Ooh. Because like, from what we've, from what we've seen and heard, like, we're not even close to as bad as it gets, as far as like the kind of oh, insane janky code you'll have to work with if you're working with like uh -oh. a huge variety of indie devs, you know. Totally. No, yeah, no, I'm sure they get some some ones where the whoever's like reprogramming or whoever is just like, what the hell is this guy thinking? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> be 
beat all these people up, Sam. I'm trying. I don't have any weapons. It looks like you have a friend. Yeah, my, friends, a lot of, uh... my, my friend did it for me. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. You're learning how to delegate. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I don't think there is a delegator skill, but that would be good. <laughs> I feel like that's what that what that fancy app is. Okay, well I'm about to I'm about to perish, but it's okay. Find the shop, you can heal yourself. Uh. Darn gosh darn these cheap knockoffs. that self-care do some yoga very nice okay uh shop Ooh. oh yeah can heal myself gain plus so there's a heart and then there's a heart with a little plus next to it um heart container okay whereas the others are just healing gotcha oh i can get avocado toast Ooh. Ooh, a jabo mace. Okay, hold on. Let, let me heal first. Well, bam. I'm gonna get the mace. There you go. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna live. I live another day. I was gonna heal everyone else. Oh. This is a this is a fucking crazy room. Okay, so I need to do something about you. Oh no, and I don't have any more weapons. I just I just wanna blow him up. Okay, wait, no, pick pick that up. Okay. It's a car that survived in the back. What, what survived in the back? There's a car. Oh, how do I... Oh! Oh! <laughs> well, that made it something. Whoa! Make everything better. Well, what was that one nice meme? Oh, That's no. Up, oh, okay. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Ah! Oh! I've perished. <laughs> you know. The, uh, it also is just, like, a challenging demo. When you play the real game, you'll be able to, like, uh, level up your character in other ways, like, permanently. Ah, I see. To make it a little easier for yourself. Oh, yeah, like, like dungeon crawlers. <laughs> right, so. If oh. you don't, uh, if you do not wind up completing the demo uh on this stream don't don't feel bad okay i'll need to go at a certain point as well but uh it's been very cool watching you play yeah i'm i'm glad i hope i'm not disrespecting the gameplay too much i'm just not very good at these no games. definitely not awesome i it's uh it's meant to be hard yeah it's been it's been satisfying to to get the enemies though Deal. Although, you know, Chris beat on his first try, so... Of course. Of course Chris beat it on his first try. So can I just move to the next floor, technically, if I just go through here? That's the start. Oh, whoops. That's the start. Whoa, a tablet pen! <laughs> Is it a Wacom? A Hueyon? XP pen? <laughs> Apple pen. pen. Tablet pen. There we go. I am equipped with the power of art. Uh, draw on me! Okay. Nice. I want this weapon forever. I know that's not gonna happen, but... Ooh, it's like shocks him. Oh, 
cool weapon. This is my favorite so far. Um, I feel like I'm getting hit a lot, so let me do this one. <laughs> oh, there's another tablet pen in there! Whoa! <laughs> I can have three <laughs> tablet pens! Let me build. Yes! Yes! It's exciting. So this game is coming out in just a few days. How, how does it feel to have it so close to, well, it's so close to release? Next month, right? A few few days in a month. A few days in a month. A few days in a month. Oh well. Oh no, I thought it was. Oops. Yep. Never mind. You're right. A few days in a month. You're uh, <laughs> you're forgiven for being confused about dates right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm just so excited. I just wanted it to be out in a couple days. Right. <laughs> uh, is it optional to accept more jobs? I just have less money. It is optional. Yeah. You do not need to do any jobs. All right, then I'm just gonna keep on going. You have the tablet pens, what else could you need? I know, exactly. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, what else could I need other than to know what buttons to press? <laughs> okay, uh, okay. Can I get him? <gasps> oh! Whoa, no, no, no. Oh, wait, whoa. Sorry. Is there just a bunch of different, like, set rooms that, that come up, or, or are they kind of, like, randomly uh -oh. randomly generated to a certain extent? The basics of the rooms are... How do are... I leave? How do I get out of the car before it explodes? Oh, you can roll. Oh. Okay, okay. Whoop. Okay. The, uh, the basics of the rooms are all are all pre-created. The enemies in them are random, and then a lot of the items that spawn on uh, desks and shelves and stuff are random. Okay, nice. So for the for the most part, they're pre-generated. <gasps> Tablet pen. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Have, like, a, one of, like a favorite enemy design. I mean, we're probably it might not be something we're seeing in the demo or not, but like they're just so cute and adorable. I'm just curious, if, and, and pr probably picking a favorite, like asking to choose a favorite child. But just curious if you, if you have a if you have a bias. Uh, I think some of my favorite enemies are in the dating app area that you won't yes. be seeing. Uh. That's so exciting. if this is an uber type startup run by goblins the uh the dungeon after this one in the in the full game is basically tinder run by demons um that's incredible <laughs> those those are a lot of fun nice. and there's also yeah there's also some goblin enemies that you don't uh well, you don't get to see in this demo you get to see like in the later game uh there are some some very jacked goblins that uh you can see if you get to floor three <laughs> but much get the check the sexy demon girls are amazing i want a body fill of the demon girls so bad can we get there are the merch, merch store that was epic <laughs> yeah there is a there is a a body pillow in the game. Awesome. Um, I mean, we're on the we're on the fence as to whether that's uh, on brand to sell that in real life, but uh, no one's no one's stopping the no one's stopping the bootleggers in yeah. this situation. Yeah. Like if someone were to happen to make fan art and sell it in a form of a body pillow, like right. I mean, the the arts are like we have the body pillow in game, so the art for the body pillow already exists. Like, uh. I won't stop. I won't stop any like Essie entrepreneurs. But uh, I'm not sure we'll be making as official merch. All right, man. Well, if you could uh, shoot me that asset real quick, I got a template here to fill out. Right. <laughs> you'll have to. You'll have to wait on that. I'm not spoiling the. I'm not spoiling the art for you. Right on. Right on. I want to clap back. <laughs> Skull. I wish I had in real life. Oh wait, no. Don't do self care right now. Oh wait, no. Don't do self care. Dodge. <laughs> 
I know buttons. Whoa, whoa! Ah, <laughs> oh, the ragdoll thing. <laughs> they go through the table. Okay. Oh, it's the best. Ow. <laughs> All right. I'm getting the hang of it, I think. Oh, yeah, there's the Jack Goblin. Yeah, he's he is jacked. Yeah, and now he's on fire. Oh shit. Ah! Oh no, another big boy. Ow! What? Oh no. Oh no. Hit with the predict. With the predict. He like threw the ball at where you were gonna be. Yeah. Did. I programmed did him to that. do that. I'm so proud. Yeah, I, I love it. <laughs> Tablet pen. <laughs> Oh my god, how did not they not kill me? Ah! Oh, okay. Uh, jeez. It fits in a little bit here. <laughs> tablet pen. This is, uh, this is the tablet pen run. Slash, I... I'm surprised I haven't perished yet, run. <laughs> Can you reach the shop right now? Uh... No? The camera's over the map, so I can't tell. Oh! You were correct. Hold on a second. All the corners are important. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cube. Oh, thank God, some food. Okay. Um, anything else? Oh, there's a shop. I can afford <laughs> getting a heart. Man, if only I did more jobs. Well, I'm going into the boss with two hearts. Oh, oh my god. You all right, buddy? The caffeines. Uh-oh. Ah! <laughs> Here we go. Fun fact, this guy is uh, is voice acted by me. Oh, nice. Extra mad! Whoa, 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 whoa! Good thing I'm fast. Oh no! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh no! Oh no! Now there's other bad guys. Oh no! Ah! <laughs> We threw the whole guy. Whoa. Okay. Uh. And that's it. <laughs> no. Well, you've you've. I made it to much the end. Completed the demo. If you uh, if you beat him you'll just get a very nice ending card. Nice. Congratulating you on your hard work. So yeah, that is the that is the demo for you. That's the demo. That was a, thank you. The, the with the power of the tablet pen. <laughs> I got all the way to the end. Do you, do, do you have a favorite weapon? Uh in this area, certainly the the hammer. Yeah, the hammer was 
very OP. The hammer is crazy. Mm-hmm. It was very nice. Uh, non, just like super busted weapon. Probably the cactus sword. That was close, man. That was a good run. You got to the boss man. I did. And now and now the idle animation is that I drop my weapon and play on my phone. <laughs> That's a really good idle animation. That is say. great. It's great. That's one of the things we added in like pretty last minute to the game. Yeah. I've heard like some of those last minute additions that people add are just like the best. <laughs> nice. Sorry, I, I dropped out there for a second. I had was on another call. Everyone's calling me. Everybody's, you're so popular. So freaking popular. But that boss looks super cool. Was he called like the caffeinated or something? The, 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 the caffeine. The caffeine. The caffeine. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, there was a. Uh, I will say, uh, it's been very interesting. Basically, every week having to explain a new set of puns to the translators. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because we are releasing with this game in like seven languages. Nice. And That's so great. I'll come, I'll get, you know, comments back from like the Chinese translator and they're like, can you explain to us what yeet means? And I'm like, <laughs> I actually need to think this through. Yeah, right. It's like, how do I explain yeet? I don't, I wouldn't <laughs> know how to explain yeet. How did you explain it? I'm curious now. I'm just like, it's just an ex exclamation for throwing something. So okay, like, yeah, usually, usually when they come back with like, well, because a lot of our, our, items and enemies are like puns or like portmanteaus between two english words so a lot of times when they have questions about that i'll just be like all right here's a long-winded explanation of why this joke is funny i hope and yeah. then like so if you can find something like in this language that makes sense like please go for it otherwise like here is a more boring word you could use for this Right, right. God, I, I didn't even think about the localization challenges of of, uh, of of yeet, of yeet, or just or just anything really. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've heard you know a decent amount about it. You know, like ja you know Japanese games written in Japanese coming over here and you know trying to keep the same jokes and everything. But mm -hmm. um, it's just never really an aspect that I think about that as as much as, as important as it is. Right. Oh. And they, uh, like in Spanish, I believe, the translation for goblin, like, literally means, like, struggling troll or something. Like, I... <laughs> struggling troll. I almost just want to, like, like, that's a good username. Yeah, the struggle <laughs> troll. Got yeah. Strapped. Oh my god, what is happening to you? I got, I, I guess I ran into an explosive and I don't know. <laughs> something happens. But I realized that there's one of these. But, um. Yeah, like. That's great. Yeet and. I'm glad you like the look of it. This can be downloaded by, by anybody on Steam right now. Uh, FYI, for another. Yes. Few days at least. Yeah, for we sure. Keep, uh, we keep putting the demo back up because mm -hmm. people demand it of us. Whoops. Originally, we were only going to have the demo up for, like, the Steam Game Festival. Uh, but then we keep yeah. putting it back up because we're easily peer pressured. Well, I'm glad you did. Because <laughs> I was meaning to play it before, but then peers. I forgot. <laughs> you get another chance. Yes. Indeed. To play it better than me. But I, because I, I got, I made myself get lost somehow. I am super lost in that Persona 5 pyramid right now, by the way. I keep dying, too. You keep dying? Yeah. I'll help you. Okay. Ah, okay. I'm trying to make Sam here play through Persona 5. Um, oh, I meant to dodge. I am curious though, like, like, um, when did you start developing games? Like, I, I assume it was before, before this. <laughs> oh, like me personally? Yeah, yeah. Um, I've been working on games since I was like, since I was in like fourth grade, and I was developing games in fucking what's it even called? 
Micro Worlds EX. Ooh. Uh, 